up on this special edition of WJMH Reports. We'll show you some common news resolutions like losing weight. And we'll show you the importance of reducing your waste in the new year. Also, learn some safety tips for the new year. That and more on this special edition of WJMH Reports. Welcome to this special edition of WJMH Reports. I'm Marie Evans. And I'm Roman Gray. The new year is upon us, and what comes with that is New Year's resolutions. This episode will show you some ways to stick with some of the most popular resolutions, give you a chance to test your pop culture knowledge, and much more. One of the most popular New Year's resolutions is to go to the gym more, but most people have struggles with sticking to it. Mass Gym owner and certified trainer and nutritionist Trevor Ging believes the best way to stay true to your resolution is to be patient with yourself. Start off with realistic goals for what you want to do. Um, don't go in and try to do a three hour workout day one. Start simple, simple, start with the basics. Part of starting simple at the gym is setting small goals that you accomplish on the way to achieve your bigger goals. No matter what you're trying to accomplish, understand the process and recognize the small steps you take every day and work towards the better, bigger picture. Improving one's mental health can be a common resolution. According to John Hopkins Medicine, one in four adults suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder each year. Also, the CDD states that more than one third of high school students had experienced persistent feelings of sadness or hopelessness in 2019. Having good mental health is the key to life. Here are a few tips to boost your mental health. Make social connection, stay active, eat a good diet, have a good sleep schedule, and or meditate. Our next resolution is learning a new skill. Learning art skills such as pottery can take a lot of effort and dedication to become proficient. In learning to do art, JM art teacher Ashley Cottrell stresses the importance of doing research to get in touch with the right side of your brain and to be willing to learn, even as an adult. Adults are often not as flexible and they get frustrated easy because they want it to, um, you know, the new skill to come quickly and sometimes new things take a little bit of adjustment period and extra time uh, because it's something that you've never done before. Other new skills you could be learning are sports, knitting, crafting, baking, singing, among many others. Some ways you can go learning about new skills is setting a realistic goal and practicing a lot. For this special edition of WJMH Reports, we're going to ask a trivia question at the end of each segment, and when we come back after the break, we will reveal the answer. Our first question is, which Disney movie is turning 20 years old in 2023? A. Cars B. Finding Nemo C. The Incredibles D. The Little Mermaid Come back after the break to see if you got it right. Coming up, we'll show you a way you can improve your employability and your health all in one. Keep watching WJ Major Reports. We'll be right back. Get the facts on vaping. Fact, more than 20% of high school students have tried vaping. Fact, one disposable vape contains as much nicotine as 20 cigarettes. Now is the time to talk to your son or daughter about vaping. This message is brought to you by the Marshall County Health Department and Youth Service Systems. For more facts about teen vaping, visit MarshallCountyHealthDepartment.com. Welcome back. We've got more news now on this special edition of WJ Major Reports. I'm Maria Evans. And I'm Roman Gray. Now it's time to see if you got the answer to the first trivia question right. Which Disney movie is turning 20 years old in 2023? A. Cars B. Finding Nemo C. The Incredibles or D. The Little Mermaid And the answer is B. Finding Nemo Stay tuned for another trivia question at the end of this segment. Maybe your resolution was to pick up on a new skill or try something new. How about try learning a new language? J.M. Humanities teacher Jesus Marine underlines what to expect and how to start, as well as some other information regarding learning a new language. 
Marine points out that not only does learning a second language help get jobs, but also with our health. But when it comes down for our health, is learning a second language helps us improve our brain. And by having a healthy brain, we have a better life. If you are having trouble starting, Marine says a good place to start is TV. With its wide variety of different language, speaking channels from around the world on the radio, with music, or online. Wanting to reduce your carbon footprint is a good New Year's resolution, but sometimes it can be hard to stay on track. This can be because of not knowing what's able to be recycled or not knowing where you can drop off your recycling. See if Moundsville's recycling coordinator, David Bauer, thinks reducing, reusing, and recycling is an important New Year's resolution, and it's not as hard as people may think it is. If we think about it, it's not that difficult to do. Think about Christmas and all the items that get shipped in cardboard, you know, you look at Amazon boxes, Chewy boxes, Target, etc. Those are really easy to recycle. Items that are safe for recycling include paper products like envelopes, cardstock, newspaper, magazines, cardboard products, boxes, frozen food boxes, and cereal or pasta boxes. Some unacceptable products are paper cups, plastic bags, hardcover books, metal binders, and laminated paper. For more informa information on what is acceptable and not acceptable, along with contact information, you can visit cityofmoundsville.com. Again, that website is cityofmoundsville.com. Keeping things organized leading into the new year can be complicated. Some tips for staying organized include Writing things down can help you remember when you have important things going on. Making to-do lists can help you when you need things to get done. Try and limit distractions so you can get things done faster. You can go buy planners that suit you or keep organized folders on your computers to help find everything that you might need. JM broadcasting teacher Carly McClaney stresses the importance of not only keeping things organized on paper but also digitally. It's important to stay organized when you are working on files on the computer to put folders within folders and really make sure that you know where everything is when you need to find it on your computer. That's really important. Whether it's digitally or on paper, staying organized can help you in many ways. All you have to do is find your system, which can either be on paper or on a computer. Another one of the most popular resolutions people may take on for the new year is to read more. Most people who don't read find it boring, but John Marshall English teacher John Akuski believes they just haven't found what they enjoy yet. The huge part of reading that people love is when they can find books that they enjoy. It's entertainment. It's like binging Netflix or going to the movies. When you can find that book, you really want to sit down and just savor all of it. With how many options of genres of books that are available, anyone could find something that interests them. Reading is something anyone of any age can do and can help strengthen the mind. It's time for another pop culture trivia question. Which artist is not touring in 2023? A. Taylor Swift B. Morgan Wallen C. Olivia Rodrigo or D. Harry Styles Come back after the break to see if your guessing skills were on point. Next, WJMH Reports anchor Alexa Bickford will be joined by someone who can put their two cents into the next resolution. WJMH Reports will return right after this break. Sometimes, one moment changes everything. One song, one game, one mission. Visit Make-A-Wish online to help grant more life-changing wishes. Welcome back to WJMH Reports. I'm Alexa Bigford. Now it's time to take a look at the answer to the trivia question from the last segment. Which artist is not touring in 2023? A. Taylor Swift B. Morgan Wallen C. Olivia Rodrigo D. Harry Styles And the answer is C. Olivia Rodrigo. Stay tuned for another trivia question at the end of this interview. Saving money can be difficult, especially after the holidays. Buying Christmas gifts, setting up for New Year's Eve parties, and other big celebrations can take a big toll on your bank account. 
Saving money could be one resolution that you can keep throughout the year, even after serious holiday spendings. Main Street Bank's Marshall County Market President Gary Martin is joining me today to talk about how you can make saving money your New Year's resolution. Good morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for coming in and taking the time to do this interview with me. So my first question is, saving money can be tough for some. How can people begin such an important resolution? Well, there's a, a standard formula that, that has been around for years, and it's called the 50, 30, 20 percent formula. And, and what it looks at is that people try to dedicate to, to have their bills to where around 50 percent of what's out going for necessities like rent, your mortgage, car payment, insurance, food, and so forth, um, it takes up about 50 percent of, of your earnings. Uh, Thirty percent then would be allotted to personal spending, like entertainment, you know, going to the movies, going out to eat, going to concerts, and so forth. And then hopefully you still would have 20 percent left that you could put into a savings account, you know, for needs that arise later, mm -hmm. either emergency needs or something specific you're saving for. Now that's not the easiest thing to follow <laughs> always based on, you know, especially in inflationary times, but uh, that that's the old standard that if you try to, you know, somewhat follow, hopefully you can save some money and, and then have it for the rainy day, as they used to say. Well, I've never even heard of that before. So, I mean, that's very interesting, honestly. What is the most difficult part about saving money, especially for those who don't make a lot or put necessities first? Well, and the hardest part about that, um, real quickly, I can give you two things. Uh, obviously, inflation and costs just keep rising. <laughs> and our wages don't go up, you know, normally oh. with, with the costs. Um, the other thing that can happen to a lot of people is that they start using credit cards. And credit cards are great, you know, for convenience and all. But then if you can't pay them off monthly, then, you know, what I just talked about, allotting so much money for different necessities, uh, that 50% can grow because you then have the credit card payments also added into that. Uh, bucket so it, it is very hard um, you really sometimes uh, best thing you can do is you know step back look at what you're spending and and look at hey what do I really need and what can I maybe do without all right so basically just being more responsible paying off bills when needed I mean being on top of that stuff instead of getting behind Yes, yeah, and when you say behind, a lot of people, you know, they, they get, if you have a credit card, you get that monthly bill, and there's that minimum payment. But if you, you know, and it's great, if you make the minimum payment, you, you know, you've honored the contract for the credit card, but with the interest, most credit cards you're paying like 20-some percent interest, if you look at what it's projected to pay out in a time frame, it's out maybe 10, 12, 15 years, and you're, you know, you're paying more interest, which again is cutting into your monthly budget. Oh, all right. What are some other ways people can save money that they normally wouldn't think of doing, such as investing or buying only what is necessary? And, and what you just said, buying just what's necessary and, and to, you know, to repeat what I said, <laughs> you step back and you look at what where your money's going you know write mm -hmm. it down write what's coming in and what's going out and then you know it, they're tough decisions but look at hey maybe what could i cut back on or what could i perhaps do without so and that's what came to my mind when i was writing that question specifically was because i personally know people that have a hard time with money um especially trying to watch the spendings and stuff so just watching and only buying what is necessary, I mean, that could really help, just watching more and keeping track. Right, as you said, being responsible, and, and one of the things that can happen that, that's not responsible, irresponsible, is that your money comes in and you go out and that second bucket I mentioned, the 30% <laughs> bucket, you know, personal spending, you just buy based on what you want, and then, 
you don't have the money left over to pay those necessities, let alone to save, you know, 20 oh. percent of your money. Exactly. Tons of people have trouble keeping resolutions. How can people continue this resolution throughout the year? Um, I, well, I, I think you have to stay on top of it. It's easy again. You have to each month look at it and you might make some adjustments. You know, always be on a lookout. As you had asked, where can you save money? Always be on a lookout because things are always changing mm -hmm. to, hey, where can I save money? Maybe, you know, when your car insurance comes up for the annual shop it. You might be able mm -hmm. to find a better price somewhere else. Uh, things, things of that nature. All right. And last question. How can Main Street Bank help people save money? Uh, we have savings accounts. Uh, we have CDs that pay a little higher rates if people, again, you want to, instead of paying out interest on credit cards, you want to be earning interest mm -hmm. on your money and through savings accounts, through certificates of deposit, CDs. Um, Christmas is a great example. A lot of people will go out Christmas time and, hey, well intended, but overspend, <laughs> use credit card. I mean, it's common. It's, you know, and instead one of the things we offer is a Christmas Club savings account that we're starting out at the beginning of the year each month you put in so much money and then come October you get a check from the bank your Christmas Club cash it out and instead of using charge cards now you've accumulated the, that money to go out and spend and and you won't be hit with the credit card bills in January and February never heard of that before mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, I mean, not a lot of other banks do it because they, it's, well, it's pretty or common. Is it, is it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, huh. well, thank you so much for joining me to talk about the ways that people can save money, uh, keep track of their spendings and to continue their resolution of trying to save money. Okay. So. <laughs> well, thank you for having me and you all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thanks. For questions or help managing your finances throughout the year, you can contact your bank and bank or financial institution. If you don't have an account or want to start a banking account, you can look for a bank that works best for you. Before we go to break, it's time for another pop culture trivia question. Which famous show is getting canceled in 2023? A. NCIS, B. Grey's Anatomy, C. Law and Order, D. The Umbrella Academy. Come back after the break to see if you got it right. Coming up, Find out some popular New Year's superstitions and traditions of John Marshall's staff and students. WJMH Reports will return after this break. Get the facts on vaping. Fact, more than 20% of high school students have tried vaping. Fact, one disposable vape contains as much nicotine as 20 cigarettes. Now is the time to talk to your son or daughter about vaping. This message is brought to you by the Marshall County Health Department and Youth Service Systems. For more facts about teen vaping, visit MarshallCountyHealthDepartment.com. Welcome back. We've got more news now on WJMH Reports. I'm Maria Evans. And I'm Raymond Gray. Joining us for sports entertainment news is WJMH anchor Matthew Wright. Thanks, Maria and Roman. Do you guys know what time it is? It's time to reveal the answer from the pre previous trivia question. Which famous TV show is getting canceled in 2023? A, NCIS, B, Grey's Anatomy, C, Law and Order, D, The Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy. And the answer is D, the Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy. Stay tuned for another pop culture trivia question before the break. Many people have New Year's traditions and superstitions. WJMH reporter Carson Ubert talks about the students and staff at John Marshall about what they do for the New Year. Do you have any New Year's superstitions or traditions? Uh, my parents like always have people over on New Year's and we watch the ball drop. <laughs> do you guys have any superstitions or traditions you do for New Year's? Yeah, usually I go to my boy Pete Wagon's house for watch the ball drop every year. Usually, you know, we just hang out with family and friends for a fun time. How about you? I sit there and I watch my phone and watch the dates and time change. It's like kind of neat. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have any New Year's superstitions or traditions? 
Um, on New Year's, my mom makes us eat sauerkraut for good luck. Thank you. What do you do for New Year's? I sit there and watch New Year's Eve stuff on TV and stay home with my family. Not as much as I used to do when I was younger. Okay, do you have any New Year's superstitions or traditions? Uh, no superstitions, but our tradition is that we usually get together with a couple groups of friends and their kids so they can all play together and bring in the New Year. Okay, what do you do for the New Year's? I uh, hang out with my friends and go to parties. Do you have any traditions for New Year's? Uh, New Year's we just spend time with family. I got four wonderful kids that come over to the house and watch the ball drop and eat good food watching football. That's about it. Okay, thank you. Do you have any superstitions or New Year's traditions? Uh, you know, we usually just watch the ball drop at my house, you know, spend time with your family, waiting until clock hits midnight. Reporting from John Marshall, I'm Carson Ebro with WJMH Reports. Thank you, Carson. We hope everybody has a great New Year. The music department held a lot of the events throughout the past semester. Some of those include the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Tree Gala, Monarch Tidings. On December 18th, the Chamber Orchestra is holding their alumna concert, featuring the 25 alumna from the Chamber program. Marshall County Strings teacher Justin Jones expresses why he thinks it's important for the community to support the music department because for our students. It provides them an outlet outside of a desk, pen and pencil. It provides an opportunity to be creative. It puts a lot of opportunity for students also to be friendships. The music department will be hosting quite a few events in the new year. Those including the students in the band strings and choir can take part of the Soul and Ensemble Festival hosted by John Marshall High School. Strings will be hosting their benefit concert in February. The Steel Band will be holding, holding their Steel Band Festival in March. The music department will then be putting on their final concert starting with the band in April and their ending will be Strings and Choir in early, in early May. It's time for, another tri time for another trivia question. What celebrity has the most Instagram followers in 2022? A. Cristiano Ronaldo. B. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, C. Selena Gomez, or D. Kylie Jenner. Find out after the break for the final trivia question, correct. For our special edition, we wanted to, sh to do something we've never done before, a holiday themed A Minute to Win It. The three John Marshall senior athletes, Lily Babachek, Ethan Cook, and Brennan Sabuka were challenged to play the Nutcracker Stacker. In this challenge, each player has five nuts on their candy cane by using their mouse and must stack as many nuts on top of you as they can under the amendment. Let's see how they did. One, two. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I have it. Ow. Now I have to try and put it back. Uh oh. some ways Marshall County Schools work to keep students safe. Keep watching WJMH Reports. We'll be right back. Sometimes one moment changes everything. One song, one game, one adventure. 
one mission for a child battling a critical illness. A wish come true can be a turning point. You can transform lives one wish at a time. Visit Make-A-Wish online to help grant more life-changing wishes. We've got more news now on WGMH Reports. I'm Maria Evans. And I'm Raymond Gray. It's time to see if you got the final trivia question correct. Which celebrity has the most Instagram followers in 2022? A. Cristiano Ronaldo B. Dwayne The Rock Johnson C. Selena Gomez or D. Kylie Jenner And the answer is A. Cristiano Ronaldo In other news, during the winter months, kids can always look forward to having a few snow days. But have you ever wondered what goes into deciding whether or not to have a snow day? The process may be longer than you think. It includes watching the weather beforehand, consulting with Marshall County Superintendent Dr. Shelby Haynes, riding the back roads to check conditions, and asking others about the conditions of their roads. Interim Transportation Director Jody Korn wants the community to know how important this process is. There are many factors that go into calling for snow days but the number one priority is the safety of the students of Marshall County and the safety of our staff. Along with snow days, the transportation department is also in charge of the upkeep of the buses. So what do the bus drivers do to take care of the buses to make sure they are in top running shape? The process of taking care of buses includes a 118 point inspection, preventative maintenance, checking over tires and other parts of the bus. Shop foreman Nathan Lilly wants to make sure that riding the bus is safe for both students and drivers. I don't want them breaking down out there. We're doing, we'll do the lot salt and ice and stuff for the drivers and then we're doing turnarounds also just to keep, keep everything moving and everything safe. To stay in the loop when snow days are called, you can watch your local news station, check social media, or wait for, for a call from your school district. With the new year upon us, family, friends, and loved ones celebrate together often. Keeping safe during this time is very important, especially if you decide to go out. Deputy Sean Mail advises if you choose to go out to make sure you have someone with you or plan, have a plan to get a ride home safely. I would have a, you know, a, a DD designated driver in place uh, and, and just absolutely call family or friend. If you're going to indulge, don't drink and drive. Some ways that you can keep your family and friends off the road while they are under the influence is to talk about what you are planning to do, never go out alone, and don't feel pressure to drink. Now let's take a look at this week's pictures brought to you by some WJMH photography students. Thanks to the photography students for this week's pictures. We've shared some common resolutions that others have. Now we'd like to share our resolutions. My resolution is to try and limit my time screen so I can make sure to have more focus on my schoolwork and family and friends. Mine is going to the gym and reading more. Mine is to spend more time with my family and friends because normally I don't have a ton of time because of schoolwork and sports. And mine is to hopefully get back into animation and to improve my art since it plays a very big role in what I do. Thanks to WLU-TV and Xfinity for airing WJMH Reports. Stay tuned for a new episode of WJMH Reports in 2023. For Roman, Matt, Alexa, and everyone here at WJMH Media, I'm Maria Evans. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.